encore plus haut jusqu'au sommet de la colline. My dear friends, the Bourbon Center for French Language and Culture at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth proudly presents a concert of French songs by internationally acclaimed singer, guitarist, songwriter, heartthrob of so many around the world, the great Eric Vincent. And the concert will take place tonight at the Visual uh, and Performing Arts Auditorium at the University, 7 o'clock. The concert is free. I would love to see the entire auditorium filled with fans of this wonderful, wonderful talent. And it is a personal pleasure and honor to welcome you to the airwaves, Vincent. Thank you so very much. It's a pleasure to be here for me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tell us a little bit about the first time you remember a note jumping off of the page and embracing you, and you said, ah, oh, I love what I'm going to be doing. Tell us about how this all began in your life. Uh... Je n'ai pas bien compris la question. Comment ça a commencé avec toi à la musique À la musique Oh When I was in the. Au berceau, in the. In the cradle. In the cradle, <laughs> yeah. It happened back then Yeah. No, actually, actually, I was fascinated. When I was a kid, I was fascinated by a cousin who was playing banjo. Oh. And I wanted to play an instrument first thing. But I already jumped on the table to. I was a cabotin, as we say in French. I don't know the, mm -hmm. the meaning in, of cabotin in English. I don't know exactly either. Uh, okay, so. Okay, I, 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 I appreciated to jump on the table to sing a, a song and to be applauded by, by the family around me. Of so, you know, you ham. get. Uh, he was a ham. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you have become an international singing star and guitarist, is that feeling still there in your heart? Uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a great means to, uh, when you are singing or when you are performing on stage, to meet the people in a very special way, kind of communion. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a really a ray of sun in my life. I, 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 uh, <laughs> yes, I, I could say even that, like, like uh, when we are on stage, it's a great, for me, I, okay, I live with this and I. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do something else, and I hope it will last as long as possible. <laughs> Your music. Tell us, what is the role your music plays in today's world? I don't know. You know, I am traveling a lot around the world, and I gather uh, the impression I get. Every, and sometimes, not every time, but I'm translating that in, in, uh, in song, in music and, and lyrics. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, a singer, a songwriter is, is transmitting his uh, beliefs uh, uh, throughout his experiences. And... Um, First, I think uh, traveling around the world, so the people are not, are not that different. They are different, different colors, different religion, different. Uh, but uh, in the far uh, bottom of themselves, I think they are quite. Uh, we are human being, and uh, I have learned. About, I have learned that myself, and uh, I like to transmit this uh, universal uh, feeling. Uh, and moreover, I, I think that we cannot. Uh, We won't be able to live well in this world if uh, people somewhere are not are not living well. Mm -hmm. So I think we are all concerned in the same. Uh, okay, I'm becoming philosophical. So. I like that though, <laughs> because it tells us a little bit about who you are. We love your music, and we love the contribution that you have made to make this world. A better place through your music. I think everybody is contributing, actually. Okay, I don't want to. <laughs> But it tells us a little bit about who you are as an individual and your decision to do what you're doing. Eric Vincent is our special guest, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, known around the world for his excellence 
in uh, not only songwriting, uh, guitarist, but also in communicating a language through music that brings everyone together. So tell us, what are you going to be doing at the University of Massachusetts? What brought you here? I am touring every year in the United States since I've been touring actually uh, since uh, quite a long time. And I've spent almost seven years in the, uh, in the United States touring, if I had addition. And the first time was uh, not that far from me. The uh, first time I was in the United States was in Providence, Rhode Island. Yes. And at this time I was uh, invited by the Franco American community of Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> And then um, I've toured a lot on campuses in universities, high schools, and so on. And um, even if people don't, and I, I discovered that uh, as well, touring around the world, even people are not speaking the language, they can understand a song. It's evident for the music. There is no lyrics. Okay, it's mm -hmm. international language. But it's as well uh, the same case for the songs, even if there are lyrics. And moreover, it's a paradox, but more, more the lyrics are important, I, uh, I think more uh, there is no language barrier because if the lyrics, the singer is singing or uh, saying something uh, uh, quite, quite interesting, the, the, the singer involves himself in, yes. in what is... And, and the, the music plus the, the interpretation, the sensibility of the singer... It uh, overcomes overcomes mm -hmm. the, the, the language barrier, and there is never. Brian Thompson can speak about that because he is organizing my tour in, in New England, and as well is is uh, in the audience, and he can can f I think uh, I think feel feel the, the, this thing. L let me introduce you, please. Uh, your full name is uh, Brian Thompson, and I'm your a, role is. I'm an old friend of Eric's on the one hand, but I was also professor of French at UMass Boston for 40 years. And I have been working, in quotes, working on French song, I say, in quotes because it's such a pleasure, <laughs> uh, for 40 years at least. And oh I goodness. have brought uh, many other singers to the States, uh, uh, but Eric, I've been working with him now for about 15 years or so uh, consistently. And uh, song is a fantastic medium mm -hmm. for teaching language and culture. And Eric has sung in 100, over 140 countries and 48 of the 50 states, and the language barrier is not a barrier. Uh, mm -hmm. so yes, it's says, not. If you're really saying something, it, it gets through. What, what are you going to be doing tonight at the university? Singing with my guitar, my own songs, and mm -hmm. you know, when you, when you have a show, you... Uh, it's something you balance in a special way. It's sure. a, just as I told you, it, it will be, uh, uh, I think, like most of the time, a great, great uh, rencontre, communication, communion with uh, with audience. I, I will hope. I hope that it will be. A, large audience I'm, well, I'm waiting for you everybody. I am waiting <laughs> also for everyone to support this wonderful concert tonight it's absolutely free listen ladies and gentlemen du peintre s'illumine quand le soleil déchire d'un coup de rayon magique his songs have inspired so many Là, his songs have have come from his travels around the globe, from uh, meeting people from one end of the earth to the other. We're going to take a quick break here on the Mid-Morning Magazine, and I want to thank Professor Mel Yolkin for making it possible at the University of Massachusetts to welcome Eric Vincent, who has thrilled audiences around the globe with his beautiful resonant voice and one that we hope you will see tonight at 7 o'clock at the auditorium at the University of Massachusetts. We'll be back. Eric Vincent, who has uh, truly touched the hearts of so many millions of people around the world, joins us this afternoon and tonight is offering you 
a free concert, take advantage of this internationally acclaimed superstar who will be singing at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth Auditorium, 7 p.m. this evening. The concert is free, and ladies and gentlemen, you will not find a more wonderful man than Eric Vincent, who has added so much beauty to this world through his God-given talents. Welcome back, Eric. Nice to have you here. Would you please introduce the other two people in our studio? There is Brian Thompson, who is organizing uh, my tours in New England, who is a, a lover of French song. And, and your interpreter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there is Claudine, who is my sound engineer in chief. <laughs> and beyond that, she's my wife. And beyond that, she is your <laughs> wife. <laughs> I think she was first his wife, and then the sound engineer. Now, Claudine, please come over to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit shy. Huh? I know. I'm who, not used to her. Who fell in love with whom first? Did you fall in love with Eric or did Eric fall in love with you first? Huh? Come on. I'm I going to write a song I, I, about I, I, this. I think together. <laughs> it was also. at the same time. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. The, the right answer. <laughs> I should have said the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, both at the same time. <laughs> Perhaps you could write a song about this. Who it was. <laughs> what did you find in Eric that attracted you to him? Um, we were very young. We were very, very young. Yes. And uh, it was uh, his uh, comedy, his uh, bon humor, he was very... Yeah, his good humor. Yeah. Yes. And yes. And Enthusiasm. Uh, <laughs> Enthusiasm, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I cannot life. find all the, my English word like that. Yeah. But you, you found something very special about him that uh, people find around the world about his music. Very, very special. Right. Yeah, well, yes, yeah. His, uh, his music, too. Well, Eric How? and Claudine yeah, make a real team because it obviously whenever he does a concert, she runs the soundboard and really yeah. participates. <laughs> but when they back home in Paris, they live on a boat in Paris, and whenever they go out from the Canal de Saint-Martin onto La Seine, the river in Paris, they go through a lock, and Claudine handles all these big lines, you know, big, <laughs> thick lines for, for tying up the boat and all this, and she's a tiny woman, what, about <laughs> four, ten, or five feet at most, uh -huh. uh, and she, so and Eric pilots the boat, and, and but they really make a great team. Isn't that interesting? You live on a boat. Yes, but you Why? know what we call in a penis in French, which is a barge. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, uh, a barge. So um, there are quite many people, uh, sp not only in the, the harbor called Le Port de l'Arsenal, which is next to La Bastille, right, mm -hmm. downtown Paris, but all along the, 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 the River Seine uh, uh, in Paris, uh, there are many, many uh, people living on, on barges. And it's interesting. We have a lot of spots. We are, and moreover, in our, in our place, which attracted me at the beginning when I decided this. It was that I had a friend living this way, and uh, I felt when I, I visited him that he was living in a, in a village right downtown Paris. There, there was such an atmosphere between those people coming from. Th there are quite a lot of artists, but not only artists. You have you have different uh, uh, profession of people living there, but we are we have all this. I don't know if it's a boat that is a link, but it's, there is a special link. It's, it's a village uh, in, the, in the big city, which is very interesting. Are you a conformist, uh, or are you somebody who approaches life in an unorthodox way? Um, I couldn't say that I am a conformist. I, I am, I am approaching <laughs> does life that also <laughs> Does that also apply to your music? Probably, I, I, we try. I try to, be, to 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 feel the things throughout my my own feeling, and, and not to to conform to the fashion, sure. to the to the main uh, current of the things. Is what we can say. Yeah. I want to play a song before I do. Tell us uh, about 
this song that uh, we came back with that was written by a very it, special friend. Yes, Etrange Melancholy. It has been something interesting. Enfin, I had a very, um, yes, I, I, uh, I wrote lyrics and uh, the music has been composed by Georges Moustaki. And George Moustaki is the writer of the famous song Milor, uh, sung by Edith Piaf. Uh, you remember Edith Piaf? I, I know that there, is, there has been a movie, La Vie en Rose, yes, that has been yes. famous around the States. And George was, was, when he did write the song Milor for Edith, was a young lover of Edith. And George became very, very famous. He became famous with songs written for different famous singers. Then he recorded the song called Le Metec in uh, the end of the uh, in 70, I guess. And um, he, he sold millions of records with, with, with his record, Le Metec. And we, we became, v quite since a long time ago, very, very close friends. And uh, unfortunately, George passed away last year. And a couple of years before he passed away, he composed the music, the last music he has composed was this one on my lyrics. So I, I had the good fortune to have Moustaki come to my classroom at UMass Boston about 40 years ago, sat on the table with his guitar, talking about poetry and singing songs to my students. It was wonderful. Oh, I'm sure it was. I, I would like to add just that George was originally, it's interesting speaking about French songs because it's something not only coming from France. George was originally from Greece born in Alexandria in Egypt and coming in France when he was 17 years old and now he is he is on the French dictionary his name is on the French dictionary I think it's it's uh, really something oh, very interesting let's listen to this a song that I'm sure has very special meaning to you the title of the song is Étrange Mélancolie You are in for an international treat this evening at 7 o'clock at the uh, University of Massachusetts Dartmouth Auditorium to see Eric Vincent live in concert absolutely free, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this, courtesy of the Bois Center for French Language and Culture at the university, who presents this concert of French songs by our internationally acclaimed friend and fabulous guitarist and man who has a spirit in his heart who has reflected that spirit in his music. Uh, in the few minutes that we have left, I want to ask you, you, you have such a love for the French language. There's a love there. I can sense it. And yet, you go beyond language to bring people together through your music. Can you explain this? Yeah, but, you know, I, I am in rooted in the French language. I was, I was born in France. I speak French. But I can speak quite a certain number of other languages. I like the languages <laughs> by and large. The language is what? A means of uh, It's always the same. We, we come back to the same point. The communi to communicate with people. I cannot I am, um, I don't know how you say, bavard. I, I like to speak. And, and I, when, when, when I am on stage in a, in a country, yes. I have to speak on stage. If I am in, in, uh, in Vietnam, if, he, if I cannot speak Vietnamese, I, don't, I wouldn't pretend to speak very well Vietnamese. But uh, when I, I have been touring a couple of times in Vietnam, yes. I was speaking Vietnamese on stage. I did the same in China, the same in, uh, in Argentina. I was speaking Spanish, of course. Yes. Uh, Chinese or speaking Portuguese in Brazil and so I like the language I don't care not to speak perfectly but sufficiently to communicate with the people I need that I understand that you have bridged James Taylor with your own style of music. Tell us about this. Yes, it has been a, a very nice meeting with James in Paris, and we decided uh, to he let me the, 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 the rights to, to, uh, to write French lyrics on his music. Um, and I liked, the, I liked the, the, uh, James Taylor's the music he, he was doing. And uh, I made all a job for one city. Uh, I have written French lyrics. And James let me go wherever I wanted with 
with the ideas. I had not to follow the original ideas. I was not uh, in jail. In, yes. in the, in the f so, uh, for example, f Carolina in my mind, I was not speaking about Carolina at all. I was uh, coming back from Africa, from a small country called Rwanda, where it had been the genocide, and I wrote something about that. So ah. something sometimes totally different from, from the origin idea. Uh, idea uh, An interesting. One, one thing to note, on that particular album, this next to last album, there are eight of 11 tracks which are James Taylor tunes, and Eric plays guitar as well as James Taylor, and that's saying something. So anybody out there who plays guitar or has kids or friends who play guitar, they should really come. It's a treat. It truly is. Uh, internationally acclaimed for his artistry, his uh, playing, singing, songwriting. Eric Vincent tonight. I want to ask you finally. You have been one in music all your life. So what has music taught you personally about life itself? Oh, many, <laughs> many things. It's uh, <sighs> music, it's, it's difficult to answer to that because but the, the way to be a singer, as, as, as I told you, uh, taught me a lot of things about, uh, about the people around the world and, uh, you know, which make me... Uh, uh, I don't understand how we can we can still fight uh, in this in this world. You know, we need, as I told you before, we need to to live in peace together, and we need uh, the minorities as to, uh, have to live if you want to to live in a, in a uh, happy. If not, it's not uh, it's my opinion. I think I, I've got that from uh, and music brought me around the world. That must most important thing but moreover uh, it's my life music you know I, I, I couldn't I, I cannot understand people who are living without music <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't ask you uh, as a final word here on the radio to address our listeners in your language with a message from your heart uh, l'amour L'amour, pas uniquement avec une femme. <laughs> Love. <laughs> yes. Love each other. <laughs> yes, absolutely. What a Love beautiful, everything. beautiful, beautiful music, beautiful man. Thank you for joining us in this uh, wonderful program today to share your songs with everybody. And one more time, thank you to have well welcome us this, this morning. It's thank a, you. It's an honor, Brian. It's an honor, Claudine. Thank, thank you. you so thank very, you. very much.